Thank you for being here. My name is Catalina, I'm press officer for your task board. This is our coach, Jorgen Danachon. Please go on with your questions. Jorgen, uh, how much are you looking forward to this game and how tough do you think it will be? Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, I've done since uh, we win the champions last year. Uh, what date was it, Buse? 6th of November. 6th of November was we the victor of the Swedish champions last year. And since that date, we have looking forward to Champions League. So, uh, of course, very much. How tough do you think it will be here at Celtic Well, uh, we, we feel we are a big underdogs, of course. We know that Celtic is a good side. They they, yeah, they, the quality is saved by themselves, but uh, we feel we have a, a wonderful situation because we can play totally without pressure. Every pressure is on, on uh, Celtic and we know also about the Celtic uh, situation that the domestic league, they already win before the league started, almost. almost. Uh, so the Champions League is very, very important for, for Celtic, so we feel for us, it's just a wonderful situation to come here and play without pressure, and we like that situation very much. Do you feel you have to take a leap back to Sweden, or do you feel you need to win in this first leg, or do you feel that a, a draw is good enough to go back to Sweden? Point? Yeah, of course we want the best possibility result, but uh, a draw with some goals scoring it's, will, of course, be okay. Tell us about Mo Bangura's frame of mind getting into this game. I was a little bit surprised that the Bangura question comes number two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so plus for you there. Um, we we um, we feel that the situation we have, the club win the league last year. We have uh, the club have invested a lot of money to to do a really good. Uh, try out to go to Champions League. Uh, one of these things was to, to sign a, a quality striker for this year. And uh, uh, we find out that this was possibly to, to, to have Bangura here on, on uh, loan in a good cooperation in a dialogue with, with Celtic. Uh, and that makes that he come to us. Uh, he play play with us, he trained with us, uh, we're taking care of everything around him this year, uh, including uh, that we also pay his salary this year, we feel that we are responsibility for him this year. We know of course that he's a Celtic player, but this year we, we are responsibility for him and we, we have him in our squad. And the, one of the reasons that he's in Elspoir is because of that we are in Champions League. So in Champions League, uh, that is also for us very important, of course. And when he is here, and we see the possibility to use him, we cannot see that there is any uh, problem in the contract to use him. And we want to win the game. Celtic want to win the game. Celtic uh, do the things and say the things that makes the situation good for them to win. And that's the agenda of Celtic. And our agenda is the opposite. We want to win the game. We want to. Uh, coming in a good situation where we can win the game, and I don't have any problem with that. Celtic don't want him to play. That's normal that they say that because they have the interest of Celtic. We have the interest of Elspoir, and we do the things that we think is best for Elspoir. But you have spoken to Mo. What's his feelings about this game? Yeah, I have spoken with 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 Mo, and uh, I I cannot say that he he's not have have uh, taken any impact at all. He, of course, have taken a little bit of impact, but Mo is a quite cool f uh, man. And uh, the, But the main thing is that Mohamed Bagora is a professional football player. That's his work. He's not a carpenter, he's not a bus driver, he's not a taxi driver, he's not working in a hospital. He plays football. That's his job. And for the moment, he plays football in our club, Elspoy, and we have an important game, and that makes that uh, we feel that we have the possibility for use them for winning a against Celtic, and that feel we feel that is our right to do that. Does he understand that he probably wouldn't be able to come back to Celtic if he helped Elspoy knock Celtic out? I don't have any comment about how they will treat him next year, because that is up to them. 
uh, to do that. So, and what they say again to him about the next year, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't have, have any comment about that. That is a question for Celtic. Can I clarify one thing? Are Elfsburg paying Mobang Guru's entire salary in during? The that's year? not a question for me, and I think that's a a, 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 a question which is is confidential uh, agreement. So that I don't have anything to say about that. But, you, know, you said that um, you understood that Celtic would make the comments that they made, I and mean, they didn't want Mohammed to play. But do you feel some of it overstepped the mark a little bit? Do you think they crossed the line a little bit because Mohammed looked upset on Saturday? I can understand that they do everything they can to try to beat us because it's so important game for them. I understand that, but we don't uh, take any any uh, we don't change our way of working in our way of try to go to Champions League because of what Celtic is doing because we have the full right to use him and we want to to also to play in Champions League so. We, we have the opposite uh, the situation. They want to win. We want to win, and I think it's it's it, for for us it's it's not so big deal. He he's for in, under our umbrella for the moment, and we will play with the eleven player which we think have best chance to win the game. Will most start tomorrow? Excuse me. Will most start? Again? The lineup is 1945. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you got a penalty tomorrow, if you got a penalty tomorrow night, would you trust more to take it given? Uh, that the question is not about the trust. The trust is 110 percent, but he missed the penalty last game, and that means that normally when we miss the penalty, we have some other good penalty takers. Probably some of the other guys will take that penalty, but not because of that we play here because of that he missed the last penalty. Jurgen, are you worried that the reception he might get at Celtic Park, which is always a heady atmosphere on European night anyway? I'm not really worried about that because uh, I'm working 23 years with football full-time coach and I have a lots of meeting with Scottish people and Scottish uh, coaches I feel that the Scottish the, the reputation of Scottish supporters and the Scottish people is, is that they are very uh, they are full of fair play and respect and uh, that Scottish supporters normally have a very good respect and treat the opponent very good in the in, in especially with the national team when they are abroad. You remember, for example, 1992 in, in Gothenburg. You remember with the policeman and the Scottish supporter. That is how we feel about the Scottish people. And I don't think that the, the supporters here will treat him bad because of that. Because they know his job is not, not now to be a bus driver. He's a football player and he plays for our club now. I don't really have any reaction about it. I don't put so much attention about what they say because they say things that they think it's best for them to win the game and they can say what they want because they do it because that's their agenda. Our agenda is to win the game from our side and we will do things what we think is best. So they, 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 they can say what they want. It, it doesn't matter for us. Now, he, he, his, his work is to play football in Elspeth this year. And, and that is his job this year. All of this talk, has it actually helped you in a way? Because it's almost like the focus is going to be on one man. We've got 10 other quality players who could do damage. Do you think there's a, a chance that Celtic might take another yeah. one man? You say that now, but and, 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 and I, I don't say that you are wrong in that case because, of course, we, we have a, a situation where always two sides of the coin. And in, in the side of the coin, the other side of the coin is that we also get extra inspiration and, and extra feeling that, okay, let's, let's fight really tomorrow to win the game. So it's uh, for us, it, it's not a, a big question for us because it's the media talking is one thing and the game when the referee started to blow the whistle, it's another thing. So it's, it's not so big case for us like so that. No, no, I'm I talking from, from the coach and the, the staff and the players' uh, side. Is it mind games from Celtic? Yeah, of course. Of course it's a mind game. It's two more minutes. Jorgen, can I ask you, there's a, a story on a Swedish newspaper website claiming that Celtic um, sent an email yesterday requesting that Mohammed doesn't play 
I don't really know about. I, I heard that there have been some connection uh, by, by mail, but uh, I don't know uh, the information in, in, in this. I don't know the information in this. Have you been asked by Neil Lennon or anybody at Celtic not to play both no. directly? No, 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 no. I, I, I know uh, that there. I, I think that for me, you say the word mind games, and that is how we feel it is. So. And mind games is a part of, of football in this level. So we, we don't take so much attention about the mind game because they do what they think is best for them and we do what we think is best for us. Jürgen, you don't want to tell us if, if uh, Mohamed is playing tomorrow. Are you, are you sure about your starting 11, which players you will play tomorrow? Almost. But we have one training left and things can happen on that training. And where are your question marks? Yeah, it's a bit like that to see how the ice is on the players. Jürgen, we saw Malmo crush Hibernia in 7-0. Is Swedish football stronger than Scottish football? No. But you cannot take any t take any any things from that game and, and change over to this game because I think you know that Celtic and, and Hibs you cannot compare in, in, in any level for the moment. So, But of course it gives us inspiration that they can come here to Edinburgh, to, to, to a classic stadium and win away 7-0. It's an uh, it's incredible result. Is that your objective tomorrow? Not 7-0, of <laughs> course. <laughs> we feel we are underdogs. The, all, all the pressure is on, on, on the Celtic side. And we feel it's, it's, uh, we're going to, to do everything we can to have the best performance as possible. And then we see how it will end up. Is that your mind game, Jordan? No, we 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 are stuck in football. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.